Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. I have a tutorial on stones and the merits and virtues of stones, wearing them, and the many benefits that it has on, on the spiritual and also physical side, material side of us human beings. And all of this comes from the teachings given to us by Ahlul Bayt salam, and also endorsed and uh, mentioned and spoken in detail about in science as well. Now we're in the holy city of Qom and there are many many shops that you are able to visit to purchase uh, stones and rings. But I would recommend um, visiting my very old friend uh, Sayyid Mu'ayyad and Musawi. Uh, it's around about two uh, minutes away from the holy shrine of Sayyid Al-Masuma and I'm just going to go inside and do a little bit more speaking. Now I have uh, with me, of course, the, this is um, Sayyid Mu'ayyad al-Musawi and he's the owner of this shop. And we, we have mentioned um, some things about the Aqiq Yamani and I just wanted to give a sample of a good grade uh, color stone and um, a not so uh, good grade colored stone. Um, of course, the kabidi color is what you should be going after, even though that might be a little bit expensive. So there are two things that you need to look at. Besides the particular stone that you're looking at, the uh, quality of the artwork on the um, silver, and how heavy and how good it looks, and also uh, whether or not it suits your finger. So that's with the aqiq. Then you have the feiruza. Now, these feiruzas, um, they're all from Neishabur, but these are the beautiful turquoise uh, sky color ring that you can see. But you also have something that has been introduced in the market, and these are color enhanced as well. So if this was the original color, this would be extremely expensive, but seeing that it's been color enhanced, it's not that expensive, but it looks very, very nice. These have not been color, color enhanced. So this, even though um, the color of these are lighter than this, but they are more expensive because this has been um, color enhanced. It's not the natural color. Of course, if, you're, if you can afford to get something like this in the natural color, that is perfect. Here you have, I wanted to give an example of uh, good quality um, uh, silver work. These are Sharaf al-Shams, and a Sharaf al-Shams is written on a light color, uh, yellow Aqiq Yemeni, and there is the Hirz there on the back. But as you can see, the quality of the silver isn't that good, and you can even see that the stone is wobbly. Whereas you can see that this is some handcrafted work, and uh, beautiful design there as well. And there is the, the Hirz also. You can go through any of the other rings. Uh, you have these uh, with uh, in engraving on them. You've got some emeralds there, zumurud. There are a variety of turquoise. Uh, you also have different kind of rings, like that's a lapis lazuli. Uh, these are hadid sini, um, different color, like women style rings as well. You've got the very very large ones for um, when you get into a fight or something like that. That's a Zabarjad and um, different color, different stones on one ring. That's also, um, these are topazes. You can get stones by themselves. Uh, you also are able to get like lower grade uh, rings. Price wise is very different. These are some uh, women uh, jewelry as well um, available. Uh, price wise, you know, um, it's all different, but you can also get a uh, tasbih, a sibha. This is a feiruza sibha. A million or Like this is around about yeah, right. roughly um, 80, 85 to 90 dollars. Which, oh, it's you, it's of course by the weight, by the weight, so you have to scale it. This is a uh, by Zahar or Shah Maqsud. It has two names, which is ve it's also very recommended to use. And this is a simple example sample of a yusur as well. 
and um, that is, has also been decorated with, with silver. So there are two important things that uh, one needs to be observant of. And I would say the first thing that you should be observant of when you are buying a ring is, uh, number one, the authenticity of the stone. Make sure that you get it from someone who's reliable, someone who's known. And the second thing is the grade of the, or the quality of the work that's on it. So these are two recommendations. And last but not least, always bargain when you're going to buy something. So you want to make sure that you get something authentic, you want to make sure that you get something that you like, something that suits your hand, but also um, make sure that you bargain so you get a reasonable price. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi al-Tahirin.